Thank you, Mayor. Uh, first of all, I, I want to say that on behalf of all the federal responders that are working here in southeast Louisiana, that our, our thoughts and prayers were, are with everyone who has been uh, impacted by this catastrophic event. We know this is a very difficult and challenging time, but we also know that the residents of Louisiana are very resilient because you've been through this before. So this is going to be a long recovery, but we're going to get through it together, and FEMA is going to be here uh, every step of the way. To that point, I want to make it very clear that the response is being locally executed, state-supported, and federally supported with assets. The state is clearly in the lead. The local governments are leading the plans at the local level. The federal government is here to provide whatever support uh, is needed. To that point, we have resources already deployed that are assisting with search and rescue. We are providing uh, generators to critical facilities, and we are providing commodities such as food, water, and tarps that you will see at the points of distribution in the coming days. We stand ready. Again, we will be here uh, every step of the way. And now I want to just talk a little bit about what's going on with the um, individual assistance program. As of this morning, I can report that over 113,000 house, 113, households have applied for federal assistance. The vast majority of those are from Orleans Parish. Now, residents can apply, households can apply for federal assistance in a number of ways. The most common way is 1-800-621-3000. That number again is 1-800-621-3362. Households may also apply online at www.disasterassistance.gov. And there is a FEMA app that residents can download onto their iPhones, and they can also, they can use that app to also apply for federal assistance. So as you can tell by the number, we're very pleased right now with the, the way the residents have been able to register for assistance. Most of those registrations have occurred um, using the mobile app, as a matter of fact, and online. And we will continue to encourage residents to do this uh, for the next several days uh, and weeks. Now, what will happen after a household registers is they will be contacted by a inspector, a FEMA inspector, to come and do an inspection of their damaged home. We're in the process right now of getting inspectors deployed here into Southeast Louisiana. As you know, there's a lot of damage out there. Access is somewhat limited. So it's going to take us some time to get the capacity that we need, the number of people that we need in the local areas to do these, uh, to do these inspections. So again, we ask for the patience of those who have registered and you are waiting for uh, an inspection. That will come. I do want to provide a couple of uh, reminders, though, to everyone who has registered. First of all, if you are currently in some type of temporary lodging, keep all of your receipts. You may be eligible for reimbursement for that lodging expense from the federal government. It will depend on uh, your application and your total living situation. Insurance. I want to remind everyone that FEMA assistance is not a substitute for personal or homeowners insurance. FEMA assistance is not designed to make a household whole. Okay, it's merely designed to just get a household back up on their feet to begin the recovery. But if you have insurance, we strongly encourage you now to reach out to your insurance adjusters and to begin the process of submitting that claim. With regards to cleanup, do not wait for a FEMA inspector to come to your home to begin cleanup. You can start that process now, but it is very important that you document the existing damage. 
by either you know, photographs or video and save any receipts that you are accumulating right now for any cleaning resources or other materials that you're using at your damaged dwelling. Those expenses may be eligible for reimbursement under FEMA's program once we review your application.